there's another big story that we are following. Uh, oil, of course, with no one traveling uh, during the pandemic. Uh, Saudi Aramco, the world's biggest oil company, saw their annual earnings drop over 40 percent last year. What does that tell us about the year that was and what we can expect in the year to come? We were on a, a conference call with a limited group of Middle Eastern reporters with Amin Nasser, the CEO of uh, Saudi Aramco, and he says, like, I kind of feel relieved because that was the worst year in the energy business since being president and CEO of the company. And that's a, certainly an understatement because what you're talking about, uh, Linda, was that demand was down better than 20 percent. Uh, in the second quarter of uh, 2020, at the height of the pandemic, overall down 10% for the year. And as a result, if you look at the results for Saudi Aramco, uh, earnings down 44% to $49 billion. It is the largest oil company in the world, one of the biggest companies in the world, as a matter of fact, still profitable, but uh, stacked up against $87 billion a year before. Kind of a double whammy here. They're in the OPEC Plus agreement. Saudi Arabia decided uh, to prop up prices by cutting production by another million barrels a day in February and March, this hurts their revenues because they're not exporting as much oil. That's difficult. Then we have to think of the wild card for Saudi Aramco and for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia overall. It is almost on a weekly basis now. We have Houthi rebels firing attacks through drones on uh, Saudi Aramco oil facilities. The latest was last Friday for a Riyadh refinery. We saw this in Jeddah over the last couple of months. And in the last year, off and on, in the belt, the oil belt of Saudi Arabia, Ras Tanura, uh, Abqaiq, these are facilities that have been either struck at or actually hit. They have very good defenses, but every week, week in and week out, uh, they're getting tested on, on a regular basis for their oil facilities. Although, the CEO said they've been 99.9% .9 reliable still getting that oil out of the country.